and it just lasts all day and it looks you know really nice in my opinion so there's that my camera just said something so i don't know if it's like cutting out or whatever but we'll see what happens okay so let's continue with some eyeliner Here is the Clio Kill Black Liner that I got two years ago in Korea because it's really famous, so I got it. Um, and I don't really know how it's going to perform, but let's just give it a try. Oh, it's not performing that great. It's supposed to be all that, but whatever. It's old. Okay, this is not my favorite. Black liquid liner pen of like the 20 or so that I own, but I'm trying to do all K beauty, so There you go. And I should use it up. Since I have it. Okay, there's the look with this. Mascara. Mascara. Do I have anything? I think I do. But where is it? Let's see. Um, I forgot to grab a mascara. I had like a Leo Ellie, Leo Ellie mascara, but I don't know where I put it. Where are you? Hmm. If it's not here, then I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I have a Leo Ellie like gooey <laughs> type of mascara. It's okay. It's called the Bubby Bubby Mascara. And let's use it. It's in the color Gorgeous Black. So let's be Gorgeous Black. And Oh, it's pretty dry. This might be my last usage of this mascara. Yeah. It's not doing much of anything because it's too um, dry now. So yes, today is the last day, but thank you for lasting until this K-Beauty attempt at a full face. Yeah, really nothing going on. I'm probably going to go over it with something else later. But anyways, see you, Ellie. Bye-bye. And then let's do some concealer. Um, this is not like technically, technically K-Beauty, but it's Joa Cosmetics from CVS. It's inspired by K-Beauty, so I'm just going to use it. I learned this newish, not new to me technique of how to do concealer under eyes by Robert Welsh that I think a lot of other people are doing, but... Um, yeah, you just put a spot here, a spot here, and then blend it in. And the whole point is don't use too much concealer. He's really against um, too much concealer. And then you just kind of do a natural, more natural coverage. Um, like where the light hits is where you want to put the concealer instead of just all over because then it ends up being too much. Yes, and then the concealer blends in really well because we have that... Nisha BB Cream Perfect Base. 
Um, I always have to put more concealer on this side because I've got lots of problems here. So I kind of blend it out in Korean. I would say techung techung, like as much as I can um, with my finger. And then if I have my beauty blender, which I do today, it's just ready to go, that is. Um, I'll just blend it out. So that I don't look crazy. Okay. All right. I'm going to try to blend it in really well because I don't have, um, <clears throat> uh, Korean powder. So I'm not going to put on any powder today, but I do want to put on a blush that I got. So <clears throat> I'm going to need a little more concealer. Um, it's the same Caradium brand and I think line bling um and it's a blush it's so cute the packaging and the way that it's presented is so cute i think i bought it just for that honestly it's not my favorite blush right now in the world but i really like it so um let's try that here it is bling fit caradium <clears throat> how pretty is that it kind of looks like the is it the kiko Kiko kind of like eyeshadows. Um, it's in the color rose gold, which is one of my favorite just colors. <laughs> Even though it means different things to different people. I'm going to take my um, Real Techniques brush. And let's just put some on. Let's do it like Korean style. Just like here. Here. And just go across. Why not? And kind of get that like... Um, I drank a little bit too much wine kind of look. Asians, um, turn pink. It's called the Asian bl glow when you drink. Pretty. Has a little bit of like a shimmer. Uh, that's not the same color. It's like a shift or whatever. And then finally I do brows last. Why? Because... I can't see. <laughs> so I want to have my glasses on when I put on my brows. Oh, I can see myself. What do you guys think? Oh, and I have a lipstick too. I'll put lipstick on. Ooh, why did you go in there? This is my favorite holiday necklace that I got years and years ago uh, from Banana Republic. Uh, let's do brows. Okay, brows again is Etude House. This is a very uh, best-selling pencil on Amazon. You can get it for like less than $5. So that's why I got this. And it has like this kind of tip, like the triangle tip. And this is the color. I don't know what color this is. Probably ash brown, because that's what I always get. Something like ash brown, something like that. But it doesn't say on here. I'm like trying to read the Korean. Oh wait, no. No. Okay. So I'm going to do my brows. Um, I'm not really good at it, but I just do what I do what I can. I'll show you the difference between having the pencil and not having the pencil. Koreans like to do like a very flat line when they do brows. Okay. So there's the brow on. I'm going to take the brush and kind of soften it out like that. I bought one of these for my mom for Mother's Day. I actually bought, she has not enough brow products in my opinion. So I bought her like five brow products for uh, Mother's Day. No, YouTubers don't really like to do their brows on camera. I think it's because it takes a long time and it's like kind of boring, but 
you know, whatever. That's how my videos kind of are. So I like to take the um, pointy side down and then go up like this, kind of all over the brow until I get like a decent shape. And then as long as they don't look too different, I'm good. And then I kind of like even them out at the end. That's what I do. Okay. So I think that's going to be it. Feels like I really look for this. Okay. Got this one. All right, I think I am finished. Let's just get some lipstick on. I don't really have a lot of um, Korean beauty lip products. I love American lipstick. Um, let's just be real. My favorite right now is CoverGirl. Oh my goodness. I just love CoverGirl lipstick right now. I think I could do a whole video on it, which maybe I will. Uh, so yeah, I don't really need K-beauty lip stuff, but... I have something from the face shop that I bought years ago because when I was looking for the perfect peach lipstick, which I found in CoverGirl, not in um, a Korean store. But yeah, I haven't looked that much because I just don't need to. Why look when you have everything you want? But this is the color number two from the face shop. Um, Black, La Black Label Lipstick. Black Label Lipstick. Right? Bought it ages ago. I never really use it. Because it's not really my vibe, this color. Yeah, still not liking it that much. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> Let me actually blot that off with a tissue and put on a color that I do like. I'm loving... Um, I'm loving... This one? I think it's this one. Cover Girl, the shimmer lipsticks right now? I think this one is called Bronzed Peach. I love this. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, so pretty. All right, let's get you into more natural light and see if you like the look. So this is my K-Beauty look. What do you guys think in natural light? Definitely could have covered more up, but the blush is pretty intense. Um, the eyeshadow, I guess, is not that intense um, behind the glasses, but you could definitely see that yellow. That's pretty pigmented, actually. Yeah. And then that lipstick that I love, which is not K-Beauty, sorry. But yeah, there's the look. I hope you guys liked it. And I know this was a long video, but there it is. Bye-bye.